Once again, we are finding that everybody is enjoying that.
thank you very much, Project M. They will be back later for their dinner set. For now, we'd like to request the members of the Entourage and the Bill and sponsors, bridesmaids, grooms, and best men, best men and maidens of honor, please to proceed to the room with the coffee course. Once again, we would like to request the members of the Entourage to please proceed to the room with the coffee cross. And availing for sponsors, bridesmaids, groomsmen, best men, and maidens of honor, please proceed to the room right now so that we can begin the program. Thank you.
May we request everyone to kindly settle down. We are starting in one minute. Once again, we'd like to request everyone to kindly settle down. We are starting in one minute. Good afternoon. We'd like to request everyone to kindly focus on the screen. We are going to watch their pre-nuptial photo slideshow.
Good afternoon, everybody. Magandang hapon po. I'm Darlene, and I will be with all of you for the rest of the program. Today is an extra special Sunday because today we're not anywhere else. Today we are here in this venue, this special venue to the bride and the groom because we are all in support of their union. Is that correct? Yes. Can I hear a yes from all over? Are you guys, are you guys super supportive of their union? All right, <laughs> responses. Thank you so much. You know, I'm asking you guys to respond because I don't see everybody, right? So there, I would really, really appreciate hearing from all of you. Now, you know, a lot of times because of what's happening, dates change and couples forgo meaningful dates. But today, I would like to mention that, you know, this date is actually special to them because this is the date when the groom actually got the engagement ring of the bride. So this is a significant date to them. Plus, this venue is where they had their proposal dinner. So that's why we are all here in Marsha Ata. So i just like to say that it's such a great blessing these days to be able to um, celebrate your event on the date that you want and in the venue that you want. So it's really the day that the Lord has made for these two individuals. So we'd like to hear from both sides. I'm going to call out your groups. If you're wearing your mask, please cheer. If not, please just clap just so we know where you are situated. Okay, let me begin with the friends, family, and relatives of the bride. Where are you guys? All right, thank you so much. How about the friends, family, and relatives of the groom? Okay, I'm hearing baritone cheering from the right. <laughs> so we know where the other boys are. All right. That's actually practice for later for when we need to clap and cheer for the bride and the groom as they come in. But for now, let me give due recognition to the very reasons why we have a dashing groom and a pretty bride. These are, of course, the parents. So parents, as I mentioned, your names kindly stand and wave to everybody. Let me begin with Dr. Francisco Ferrer and Dr. Marilu Castro Ferrer, the groom's parents. Are. Thank you, Bo. the bride's parents, Dr. Louis Limhoco and Dr. Maria Catalina Guevara Limhoco. Thank you very much, the Godfather, St. Jill. Kindly stand and wave to everybody as I mentioned. Your Dr. Arnulfo Valle. He is right in front. Dr. Sigredo Naporda. Thank you, Dr. Marciano Guevara. Oh, over there. All right. Dr. Rolando Correa. Here at the center. Dr. Rodel Valera. Thank you very much. The ladies, Dr. Zoraida Omiti Guevara. Mrs. Maria Teresa Palma. Thank you so much, Mrs. Christina Palma. Thank you, Dr. Prudence Aquino Aquino. And Dr. Sol De Leon. Over there. Thank you both. We would also like to acknowledge the following because they are probably watching via live stream. Dr. Epitasio Senadosa, Mr. Philip Benjamin Pugh, Dr. Emily Chini. Dr. Shona Karman and Dr. Eva Rodriguez. Can we give a round of applause, please, for the parents and the godparents? Thank you so much. Now we are going to recognize the rest of the entourage. Are we ready? Let's welcome first. Let's get ready. Let's welcome first. Team Bride. Let's go, Team Bride. Come on, shake your body, baby. Do that thong. I know you can't control yourself any longer. Come on, shake your body, baby. Do that thong. I know you can't control yourself any longer. All right, the ladies are all 
here. They're all very pretty. They're all wearing their masks because we are going to do their task very safely. We are going to do witty one-liners. So they have been challenged to come up with descriptions of their functions in the lives of either the bride or the groom. Okay, so you're not allowed to say sister, colleague, or anything boring like that. <laughs> they are supposed to give us something juicy. All right, so let's start with Jermaine Garcia. Wow, okay. <laughs> and I think Jermaine is also the one who, who joined us during the meeting. All right, Dr. Danica Panganiban. Oh, you have cheerleaders. <laughs> Tumbungan. All right. Thank you, Dr. Anna Moreno. Dive, dive body and thesis partner. Dr. Lauren Livello. Leia is my med school partner in crime. And I am her med school baby because she always takes care of me. Wow, partner in crime and baby at the same time. Kathleen Rodriguez. <laughs> Yun yung qualifier, makulit. <laughs> and then Micah Ferrer. For the groom and the baby. Oh, for the groom. All right, you're the baby girl. All right. The maidens of honor, Hannah Gail Palma. Dr. Bea and her all around. Wow. I think everyone would love to have somebody like that. All around chat. Maria Carmela and Emilia Limpopo. So I am my sister's PA. Personal alalay ko. Well, may jack of trades na. May PA pa. <laughs> Alright, let's take a quick photo, ladies. Quick photo of Team Bride. Actually, they're not just team bride members because some of them spoke about their roles in the life of the group. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. Time for them to return to their seats. I think because they gave really great descriptions, the gentlemen are now pressured <laughs> to come up with something nice as well. So everybody, let's welcome... Team Groom! Let's go, Team Groom! Before we continue, I'd like to ask Team Groom. Team Groom, do you like it that the groom did not require you to dance? Yes. <laughs> All right, so you're more than prepared to do the witty one-liners that he requested of you. Let's, try, let's start with Ian Gam. Uh, for the groom, the groom's good influence. Wow. <laughs> good of the groom. Dr. Alejandro Elia. <laughs> Counselor in the dark side. I wonder why there's a dark side. Okay. Dr. Ace Anthony de Mesa. Hi, uh, I'm the groom's hitman. Hit. There's a dark side. No, there's a hitman. Wow. All right. Mr. Robert Ceciliano. For both of them, I'm the reason that I'm the Oh, wow. I think that's the most important role. The reason why I'm the side. Dr. John Ernest Yadao. Well, for both of them, I'm always the third week. Always the third wheel. I'm noticing a trend among the boys. Huh? They're, you're talking about um, your role in both their lives. Okay, Dr. Jose Miguel Patencha. For the groom, I am his neutralizer. So there's a dark side, there's a hitman, but there's also a neutralizer. <laughs> the best man, Miguel Francisco Ferrer. And Michael Salty. Ayun, so since sabi po kami ng groom, I'm the groom's uh, brother from another mother. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good job, gentlemen. Thank you for obliging because earlier when I was talking to them, they were asking one line only. Can it be two? <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Let's take a quick photo. Thank you, team groom. 
All right, everybody, we've met Team Groom and Team Bride. Now it's time for us. Now it's time for us to welcome the bride and the groom. So may I request everyone to kindly stand. Let's all stand so we can stretch our diaphragms and really cheer for them. If you would like to cheer for them, kindly wear your masks, okay, so that we can do it safely. All right. So those of you who will be holding out your phones, please do not forget their hashtag. Okay, their hashtag is pretty easy to remember. Bea for the win, okay? <laughs> so it's Bea for the win. And if you're going to post, if you'd like to join their contest, please post within the Facebook group, okay? Within the Facebook group. Please don't post publicly. All right? Are we ready? We're all standing up. We're all ready to clap and cheer for them. Are we ready to welcome the bride and the groom? Oh, no, I'm only hearing yes and hoo-hoo from like three people. <laughs> One more time. Are we all ready to welcome the bride and the groom? All right, thank you so much, everybody. Please put your hands together and make lots and lots of noise for Mr. Marvin Ferrer and Mrs. Bea Limhoko Ferrer. Can we hear some cheering for the bride and the groom? Come on. All right, thank you, everybody, for giving them a loud welcome, a loud and safe welcome. You may take your seats, Pa. Thank you. Okay, so Bea and Marvin are here already. So Bea for the bin. Remember, you're going to post because I saw some people holding out their phones. So you're going to post within the Facebook group. We are going to give a prize to the winner. Okay, but these two are here at the center for a reason. Because after the grand entrance, traditionally we do have what you would all like to witness. That is their first dance. I won't be alone. Just thinking of you. And though I feel tonight. All right, you will always remember the way you guys look tonight. The, the dance was sealed with a kiss. Did you guys see the kiss? Yes or no? No. Okay, so what do we do? We have to tap our glasses. All right, let's do another kiss. Okay, that was a longer, sweeter kiss. But guess what? Leia and Marvin, we have something sweeter than that kiss. It's over there. Your cake. <laughs> so we are going to proceed to your cake over there. Please walk over to your cake because we are going to have your cake cutting ceremony. So for those of you who can't see, the bride will be holding the knife. The groom will be holding her hand. They will be cutting the cake together. Symbolic of how they will always be helping each other all throughout the journey called married life. You know, there was actually a point in history when they did not know how to bake cakes. So the groom had to break unleavened bread on the head of the bride. Can you imagine how messy that would be with an actual cake and icing? That would be really difficult, right? So good thing that is not a tradition anymore. There was also another point in history when they still did not know how to make those layers. So they would request all the guests to bring small cakes. And then these would be stacked high up. Right after stacking, the bride and the groom would have to kiss over the very tall stack of cakes. If nothing falls, then supposedly they are assured of a life of prosperity. Guess what, you guys? Do not have to bring small cakes. They actually ordered the small cakes. And they are set up right here. Okay, by their cake. We have two dogs, right? Two dog figurines. It's close to their cake. So... Definitely, this cake is also very symbolic, just like the date and this event. They have, they have started cutting the cake already, making sure they have a good-sized wedge. 
I am guessing the flavor is chocolate. <laughs> Let's see if my guess is correct. Okay, it seems like yes, it is correct. All right, so we're going to have the bride and the groom take the center. So we can all witness as they partake of their first official dessert as a married couple. Okay. Marvin, you will be serving Bea first. Okay, Bea is choosing the side. <laughs> Making sure she doesn't get so much icing. Okay. There you go. Now it's the turn of the bride to serve the groom. Everybody watch out for it. As soon as the groom takes that bite, start tapping. Okay, get ready. Now tap your glasses. Time for the sweetest kiss of the night. This time with lots of actual sugar. Okay, so as we are putting down the plate, it's time for the toast. According to tradition, the first to finish what is in the glass would be the ruler of the household. So you guys, who do you think will finish first? Bride or groom? Bea. Okay. <laughs> so we are hearing Bea from this side. How about how about our presidential table? Who's your vote? Bea or Marvin? Bea also. Okay, Marvin, I think we can officially say no one is voting for you. <laughs> Let's see. Cheers. Let's see if they'll wait for each other or if they'll really finish. Okay, and <laughs> Bea did finish ahead. I think Marvin waited because Marvin knows this is a superstitious belief. He will still give in to Bea's request <laughs> because it's the household. All right, so Marvin and Bea have taken the mic. It's time for them to officially welcome everyone. Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you to our family and friends for be being here tonight. Um, we hope uh, you continue to enjoy the food and the music and all that we have prepared for you. And uh, thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you. Later na lang ako. All right. Later we will hear from Bea. You know, everybody, it's not easy to plan during this time. I'm sure, I'm sure one of your friends, two of your friends, your family, they've heard all your qualms about this date. We didn't know we'd get alert level 2 in Metro Manila. So for a while, we were a bit scared. So it's not easy to plan. But I would like to personally request everyone to please do stay. Finish the program with them because we're not going to end late. That's a promise, right? So we're going to make this uh, short and sweet but meaningful as well. Okay? So we know you're raring to have the rest of your courses. Is that correct? Yes? Okay. <laughs> Some are still finishing their appetizers. But we would like to continue with the courses. So we would like to have Reese, the bride's youngest sister, here in front for the prayer. Reese. Everyone, could we stand please to join Reese in prayer? Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we are gathered here today in celebration of the unity between the families of Marvin Ferrer and Bea Limpoco Ferrer. May you bless not only the food we shall eat, but also the newlyweds as they start a new chapter of their lives as husband and wife. Together we pray, bless us, O Lord, and make thy gift of your bond with me from your bond to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Reese. Everyone, thank you. You may take your seats. You're all very, very important to the bride and the groom. So please watch out. Later on, they will be going around for photos with all of you. Okay, so they'll make sure they get to visit each of your tables. Meanwhile, though, as they are making their way to their seats, I will leave you with the beautiful music of Project M.
you so much. And I would like to congratulate our beautiful couple. Maraming maraming salamat po for having us. Congratulations to you guys. You got 
Thank you so much. Now giving you pants on keys for our next song. I see we have a groovy set of principal sponsors. Thank you so much for singing along with us. Now here's another song you all know and love. By the way, these songs are requests of our bride and groom for this evening. Oh, mm -hmm. 
This is love we offer
Hopefully everybody's enjoying the music we have in store for you. Once again, these are requests of our bride and groom. Special requests of the festival.
Thank you so much, and we are down to our last two songs for this evening's dinner set. Giving you another classic. I hope you all know this one.
are down to our last song for our dinner set for this evening. Hopefully everybody enjoyed our music as well as your dinner. Once again, we are Project M Acoustic.
the bride and the groom chose this restaurant was because it really does serve good food so I hope you are enjoying your dinner I hope you also have room for dessert still because it's still coming in a bit but for those of you who are resting in between courses and those of you who are active okay please join us because we are going to play the bride and the groom's Kahoot challenge okay so please look at the screen we are going to flash the game code so all you have to do is go to your browser and please type kahoot.it okay so for those of you who have your data signals please make sure you go to kahoot.it and then just type the game code okay three two zero nine six one four that's the game code please let us know if you're not able to get in um you can add a pseudonym but please also include your real name okay so that we know who we actually won this game we have prizes for the top three okay so this one is actually for fastest fingers and faster in the <laughs> Okay, did you guys get an okay? We have one player already. Please go to kahoot.it and type 
open the game card and then add your name, okay? Please add your name. We, how many players do we have? We only have two! There's a <laughs> Come on, everybody, join the game. It's going to be fun. Okay, even if even if you're not sure of the answers, still please join. Okay, go to kahoot.it, go to your browser, go to kahoot.it, and then please take a three two zero nine six one four. Okay, so call out all the competitive friends from the band and the groom, relatives and family members. Please join the game. Also, those of you who are into posting, please make sure you post your photo of the bride and the groom in their Facebook group. Okay, please post in their Facebook group because we also have a prize for the winner of their hashtag contest. Okay, so please post in the Facebook group at their hashtag. You can also add a caption, but please post a photo, your photo of the bride and the groom. Okay, so that you took with you today. Okay, so we have a lot of now. We're on to 15. I like the way Albert wrote his name. Albert, ooh. <laughs> okay. And, oh, we have 17. Now. Come on. Let's try to hit 20 before we start, okay? Oh, there's one person who joined and just wrote A. Okay. I wonder who A is. All right, we also have Anna. I'm not sure how to pronounce the last one, the rest of the name, but we also have Cat Rod, we have Georgia D, Gia Champ, okay. So I think Gia is making sure he's sending a message to the universe that he will win this game because it's a champ already. Okay, we have 19 players. Those who would like to join, come on. Let's go. 8009614, okay, that is the cohort. Code. Go to kahoot.it, type in 3209614. Okay, so we're giving you 10 more seconds to join. Well, we have LLL because we have A. We have LLL. <laughs> and we have JTA. Okay, we have Marielle. Oh, yeah, we have 21 already. Okay. I think some are getting cut off. Oh, there. Noel and Pam. Okay, last 10 seconds. 10. Oh, you can still come in anytime. 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's start the game. Bea for the win. That's the hashtag. <laughs> three, two, one. Okay, first question. What was Marvin's first love? To Bea. Messaged her on Facebook, sent flowers on her birthday anonymously, sent ice cream during OBOPD, gave her bear during the PGI Halloween party. Okay. What love did he do? Wow. Okay. Sent flowers on her birthday anonymously. Okay. Was that your idea then? Or was that the idea of your good influencer? The one who said that he is a good influencer. Okay. So, five people got Correct. So did you wonder for whom the flowers came? Yes. But you eventually found out or no? <laughs> it's somebody else. Okay. So, hindi pa naman siya effective, Marvin. Iba yung na thank you. So, but, ah, not mine. All right. So, nalaman tuloy may ibang admirer. All right. There you go. That's the first question. So, five people got that correct. Let's have the next question. Oh, wow. Gia Chum, <laughs> number one. Sending a message to the universe that he should be number one. And then followed by Mimi and Joe. Okay. Let's have the second question. Where would they secretly meet during internship downtime? Canteen in Marvin's heavily tainted car. <laughs> stop. Or ER basement. Okay, where would they secretly meet? Okay, ER basement is the correct answer. And 13 people got this correct. So that means this is something that is not so secret. <laughs> okay, but are there other people meeting up there? Oh, all right. Sige po. Next one. 
Okay, so all you need is on top now, followed by IT Cat or and then Geo Champ. Okay, let's have the next one. Marvin is attracted to Bob mostly because of a secret hidden agenda. Ready for the partner in his medical career. Orange, she wanted a simple life in the province. Blue, wanted tall and athletic kids. Green, he wanted an adventure body. Okay. Can you guys see the colors? Those who can't see the shapes, can you see the colors? Okay. So, three or four people have got this correct. He wanted tall and athletic kids. Okay. So, secret agenda. So, yeah, what's your sport, Bea? Volleyball. Athletic nga talaga. Okay. So, there you go. Let's, uh, and the first thing that I noticed when I walked in, I said, wow, the bride is really tall. Because we can't see it right during Zoom. We can't really see it. Alright, next. Oh, Gia Champ is on fire. <laughs> uh, where's Gia Champ? Gia Champ in this room. Okay. Gia Champ. Can you raise your hand, Gia Champ? Sorry. G Where's Gia? Wow. Gia, what is your network? Globe. Globe. Oh, my God. People on Globe won't be able to connect because some of the others could not connect. Okay. So, you're really fast in terms of thinking, answering, and then you're, you're also gifted with the fast data. But how come you're really fast, Gia? You are close to both? Bella lang. Okay, pero more less you get it correct all the time. Okay, so let's have... Wait, I need to position her so I can read properly the question. Sorry about that. All right, let's have the next question. Question number four. Where would they usually mostly have their meals and quick dates in between studying? Fortune at the supermarket food court, red, orange Starbucks food, um, brown jelly, the big asawa, or green can goods from Save More. Okay. Where do they usually have their meals? Fortune at the supermarket food court, no one got it correct. <laughs> A lot of people thought Starbucks, or oh, 10 people. Oh, um, cool the ones at Fortune. But I, but that one's good then, but the dumplings. Okay. Did they still have green rice? Yes. Okay, there you go. Let's have the next one. Gia Champ still on top, oh. Follow the Albert Way. Where is Albert Way? Up there. Okay, Albert Way is there. So with the rest of the boys, is he your good influence in there? The, the one from the dark side. I like their descriptions. Did you, did you see who was describing each time? The boys. Okay. And then, of course, Mimi is there. All right. Next one. Fifth question. They have been to the following places except Red Winter, Orange Osaka, uh, Blue Vegan, or Green Sagada. Okay. Except, except. <laughs> Okay, seven people got this correct. I think these are people who follow your social media, no? More or less, they know. Ay, walang post na ganon. Okay. So, no one answered Japan, no? So, they really, really follow. Okay. Let's have the leaderboard. Okay. Albert, Albert, oh, it's on top. Oh, the minion, Jiu-Champ, Jiu-Champ. Champ, no? Let's be fair, let's go to Albert also. Albert? Where is Albert? Albert is going to go. So let me see you really fast with Hong Kong. Huh? How can you know which one is, ano, which one is not uh, among the places that they visited? Kumaka ay, oh, kumakain pa. Okay, bakit alam mo po na Hong Kong yung isa sa hindi nila napuntahan. Secret ba yun? <laughs> Pero you're closer to the groom, right? Ah, kayo ang sumusundo sa airport. Okay. So, o nga naman, alam nila kung saan galing. Diba? Alright. Thank you po. So, ayan, to be fair yun ha. Um, Gio Champ, I also went to Albert. <laughs> okay. We are on to... The last question. 
Oh, not yet. Okay, question number six. Where would the couple's dream home be located? Red, relaxing beachfront. Orange, nestled in the mountains. Or blue, in the city near the malls. Okay. And, oh, very close. Oh, beachfront and nestled in the mountains. But I think this one is also a clue, no? This venue. Okay. Nestled in the mountains is the correct answer. Let's see who's going to be number one after this question. Oh, Mimi is number one now. Mimi. There's Mimi. Okay. Where's Mimi here, ba? Ah, up there. Okay, so Mimi is now number one. So Mimi, did the bride discuss that with you? That it would be nestled in the mountains? Mimi is here, I think. Tama ba? Is Mimi here? <laughs> Okay, there. Did she discuss that with you? Did she di divulge that one? No, you just guessed it. Okay, based on her personality. All right, next one. Question seven of eight. Who of the two had presented their scientific paper formally in front of the whole hospital? Red Marvin, orange both, blue Bea, green neither. Okay, so we have... One second left, and the correct answer is Marvin, and three people got that correct. Oh, actually, four people thought it was both. Oh, diba? They truly believe in you. So, who are these three? Let's see. Let's show the leaderboard. Oh, Lors! <laughs> Come from behind, you na, Lors. And LLL. Where is Lors? Lors is also there. Okay. And then LLL. Oh, sige nga. I'm gonna ask the coordinators, can you guess who LLL is? <laughs> who is LLL po? Anyone? Raise your hand. Ah, baka among the boys. Who's LLL? Over here also. Okay. Wow. This area, they're always getting it correct. Are you guys copying from each other? No, okay, they're hiding their phones. Okay, <laughs> next one. Wait, last question. Who has the most excess before meeting each other? Red, Marvin, Blue, Bea, Orange, same number. Okay, who has the most excess before meeting each other? Red, Marvin, Blue, Bea. Okay, the correct answer. Oi, Bea, they. <laughs> Six thought it's you. Five thought you had the exact number, same number. And then. Okay, we have seven who thought it would be Marvin. Okay, so wait. We are going to reveal already the top three. Okay, they, please come over. If you see your name on screen, please come over. We're going to give you your prize. Let's show our top three. <laughs> top 12 now. Wow. Number three, four out of eight, correct? Iki Kat. Iki Kat? Is it Iki Kat? And then five out of eight, LLL. And another one, five out of eight, Lars. Wow, congratulations. Runners up are Mimi and Albert. Uy, okay. Please come over. You guys are getting prices. How do I pronounce that? Is it Iki Kat? Iki Kat. Okay, Iki Kat, LLL, and Lars. Please come over. <laughs> You're getting prizes. Yay. Okay. Who's LLL? Your LLL. Okay, and then who's... Who's Aiki Kat? Aiki Kat and Lors. Okay, there. Ah, please stay there. We'll take a quick photo. Lors, please join them there. Okay. Sir? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, there you go. Congratulations. Please hold your prizes. Show your prizes. So when they look at this photo years from now, they will remember you guys won their Kahoot Challenge. Congratulations. That was a highly charged game. Okay, after our Kahoot challenge, I know, I know everyone. Parang, your, parang my heartbeat is racing. 
Okay. <laughs> because with Kahoot, you don't really know who's gonna end up winning. Even if like you're part of the top three at the beginning, you don't really know who's gonna end up on the podium. But right now, we know who's going to end up beside the bride, okay? Because she will be giving a message to the bride and the groom. Let's have Gail first. Gail, one of the maidens of honor. Gail, would you like to... Oh, you're going to stay there. Okay. You can also stay here beside the bride if you like. Yes. Would you like to stay? Yeah. So you have a table also to put your... Gail is the, the real jack of all trades. No? She has done so many things. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> I hope everyone is enjoying their food and drinks. So, okay, I'm going to start <laughs> and try to do this, not cry. <laughs> okay. So, Bea and I have known each other for a long time. And throughout the years, she come to mean everything to me. We've been there for each other through some of the hardest times of our lives, through med school, <laughs> breakup, losing a friend, both emotional and mental breakdowns, and some pretty fun hangovers. We've shared a lot of tears and more laughters. And I know that I wouldn't be the person that I am today without her. Different, but the same. I guess this is how... <laughs> I guess this is how most would describe our friendship. As everyone knows, we are total opposites. But somehow, we get along and understand each other perfectly. I don't know, but we just get it. <laughs> I can't express how proud I am of the person Bea has become and the life that she has chosen for herself, especially the man she's chosen to spend the rest of her life with. I remember when Marvin and Bea started dating, I just knew in my heart that he is the right one for her. She was just at her happiest. So right now, I'm at peace because I know that Bea is happy and I know that Marvin will love her and protect her. So Marvin, please take care of her. Because she is my person, my whole world. And you just can't live without her. But yeah. From sixth grade to now, know that you can always count on me. We've got each other's back, no matter what. As we always say, always and forever. So let's all raise our glass for a toast. Yeah, wait lang. Dito muna. Um, they say love is a friendship that has caught fire. So may your love burn bright for the years to come. So here's to my best friend and her new best friend. Cheers. Cheers. I feel I feel the the vibe of here's to my best friend and her new best friend. I'm sure a lot of people got hit by that as well. Thank you very much, Gail, for your message to the bride and the groom. Thank you, Gail. So, of course, we do have two maidens of honor. So, after Gail, please take the center, Mimi. So before I start my speech, I know a lot of people aren't able to come here. So they wanted to give their wishes to you and congratulations also. So there's a video. There's a video. Can I? Hi, Bea and Francis. Or si Bea lang ba? I don't know. Sino makakita nito? But I just want to congratulate you guys or you, Bea. Uh, on your special day. 
Um, I hope that it's filled with love and happiness and you're surrounded by all the people that you love on this uh, very special day. I wish you guys a very, very uh, long, long, long forever partnership that's filled with happiness, uh, respect, and um, of course, love for each other. Just remember to always choose to love each other every day um, when you wake up, even if it's uh, very hard. Because you know what they say, love is a choice. So is our happiness. So, yeah. Um, Bea, if you need my help, <laughs> you know how to reach me. Isang tawag lang ako. I'll give you all the tips and tricks that I know. So, ayun lang. Bye. Hello, Bea. Hello, Francis. Congratulations to the both of you on your very special day. And I hope we get to meet each other soon, especially after this pandemic. I wish you the best. And God bless you in your next chapter of your lives and I hope your love grows forever and ever. Bye-bye. Hi, Bea. I hope this video finds you well. Um, first off, I'm very sorry I cannot attend to your wedding personally and deliver this message. Congratulations to the newlyweds, Bea and Marvin. Uh, so this is my message for Bea today. I hope you remain as seriously protective of your new family as you are of your patients' rights. I hope you take care of your family's health as I've seen you care for your patients' needs. I hope you remain loyal to your husband, nurturing to your future children, and remain in touch with your friends and other family members. That's it. God bless the newlywed couple and I hope your union will be strong enough to endure the test of time. Congratulations, Marvin and Becca, for your wedding. Uh, best wishes, and we hope you meet our baby Ellie soon. Um, enjoy, um, enjoy being married. Enjoy the uh, milestones that you are yet to um, go through. And we wish you all the best. Congratulations. Hi, Beatos. This is it. Congratulations. Um, wishing you and Marvin an awesome, happy, and prosperous married life together. Um, I know we haven't seen each other in so long, and I'm actually really grateful that I see and, up and I'm updated via social media. But yeah, I really do hope you both would cherish and love each other through and through. Long. Yeah. Yeah. So congratulations, and hope to see you soon. I still owe you your cups, and you're still with me. <laughs> Bye. Congratulations and best wishes. Congratulations, we miss you. Congratulations, Cleo, Marvin, and Akebea. Best wishes. Best wishes. <laughs> Saturday and Kuya Marvin. Uh, sorry we can't be there. We're missing out. But um hope you have a wonderful wedding and uh and um God bless you in your new adventure together. Bye, 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 bye. Congratulations, Atabea and Marvin and best wishes. Cheers. Congratulations, Atibea and Marvin. Here's to your eternal love and happiness. Here's yes. to your eternal love and happiness. Hi, Marvin and Bea. Congratulations. Woo okay. So good evening, everyone. So uh, I'm not really the type of person who, who likes doing speeches. Parang nung debut niya, pinilit niya ako before, tapos hindi ko na siya ginawa. <laughs> tapos ngayon, parang wala na talaga akong choice since made of honor na ako. So when we were young, um, we have always been roommates. So may pretty big age gap din kami nga. Tabi, six years. So most of my childhood, parang konti lang yung memories na naalala ko. But I remember when we were in Lucena, um, when she would bake, I would bake. So parang nahilig ako mag-bake uh, ng cookies, cakes, ganyan. And then there was one summer, I was sleeping over my uh, tita's house. And then um, nanood sila ng horror. Tapos ako, as a scared little girl, um, hindi, ko, <laughs> hindi ako makatulog. Kasi I was um, sleeping uh, sa may floor under the bed. So... Pag tinitingnan ko yung under the bed, nakikita ko yung ghost dun sa 13 ghosts na nakatingin sa akin. 
So, hindi ako makatulog the whole time. What my tita did, um, she called Ate Bea. She was in Makati with my lola. Tapos, hindi ko masyado maalala kung ano yung sinabi niya sa akin. Pero alam ko, parang na-comfort ako. So, nandyan siya lagi sa akin pag like, kailangan ko siya or in time of fear. Uh, nako-comfort niya ako. <laughs> so, there was this other instance. Uh, nag-travel sila ni mommy at ni daddy sa China since... Uh, for kami magkakapatid at that time, so hindi pwedeng laging sabay-sabay kami mag-travel, may decking. So siya ang uh, on deck, um, mag-travel sa China, tapos hindi ko alam ko alam niya to, every night, nung nandun siya sa China, natutulog ako with her pillow. So parang as a, as a, a little sister, parang namimiss ko na yung ate ko, hug ako doon, hug ko yung pillow ko. Tapos, ayun. So I was that um, little girl idolizing her older sister. Tapos, come puberty, Siya yung talagang parang nag-guide sa akin. Kasi um, yung pananamit ko, sobrang boyish, tas ang pangit. Tapos nandiyan siya, parang sasabihin, hindi, bawal ka bumili ng sunglasses hanggat ni mo binibili tong top na to. Tapos yun, eventually, naging favorite ko naman yung top na yun, di ba? So, laging alam niya kung what's best for me. Tapos, college days, roommate na ulit kami. Tapos yun na talaga yung magkasama na talaga kaming like 24-7, laging siya nandiyan. Tapos, Na-realize ko, mas strict pa siya kay mami. Parang siya yung talaga, oh, nasan ka na? Uwi ka na ganyan-ganyan. Pero pag nasa Lucena ako, wala man naghahanap sa akin. <laughs> pag nasa Manila, laging, nasan na? Uwi ka na, ganyan. Tapos, natuto ako kumain ng other different types of food kasi susubo lang niya, tapos wala na akong choice, kailangan ko nakainin, ganun. <laughs> tapos, so yun. So, meron kaming tandem doon. Siya yung magluluto, ako yung maghugas ng pinggan, siya yung maglilinis ng banyo, ako mag- magsisweep ng floor. So, tapos, doon talaga kami nag-bond. So, kahit madami kaming pag-aaway at that moment in time, parang close pa rin kami kasi madami din kami yung pinag-chichismisan at pinag-uusapan. So, ayan. <laughs> Lawala na ako. So, kahit um, madami tayong sister fights, I know you'll always be there for me. Um, tuwing may problems ako, alam kong pwede kitang puntahan, like, whenever. <laughs> Tapos, so cheers to you uh, and Marvin. So I know that Marvin will take good care of you. Uh, I remember before, kin- kinwento mo pa siya sa akin before, sabi mo, may crush siya na during PGI. Tapos nagpa-picture pa sa'yo, sabi mo, uy, may, may crush siya akin, nagpa-picture sa akin, no? Tapos may nakita mo yung picture. <laughs> Tapos, ayun. Um, I know you'll make each other happy with your two fur kids. And I'll hope you'll always have time for each other. go on many more adventures and always make each other laugh. So, here's in your new life together. Cheers. Um, sabi, sabi, oh my God. Okay, so, ever since kasi, dating-dati pa, like, hindi pa ata kayo, lagi niyang sinasabi na pag dating daw ng wedding niya, kailangan ko daw gayahin yung isang Facebook video doon. So, yung Facebook video na yon, may younger sister, kinantahan niya, yung older sister niya, ng parang Disney... Um, show, uh, music, song, tapos pinaltan yung lyrics para magsakto dun sa sister niya. So I chose Frozen <laughs> kasi yun lang yung Disney, yun lang yung Disney movie na about two sisters kasi wala naman kami like favorite Disney movie together. So, um, play, <laughs> play the song. <laughs> Come, let's talk about my sister Cause today's a special day She was a little crybaby Bakes good pastries and loves eating away She loves eating fried and sweets But she should not Oh, and she loves to buy Your 
adventure began You traveled from place to place than that my gosh you know to be able to write and to sing that's not an easy song right it's not an easy it's actually all the stuff that she did they're not easy so can we give one more loud cheering come on for Mimi oh. <laughs> Mimi, yeah, I think it also, you know, she has a lot of EQ because she was able to keep it from you, right? The surprise. Good job, Mimi. All right. So thank you so much to the two ladies who spoke earlier. So they directed all their messages to the bride, okay? But now we are going to hear from your brother from another mother. <laughs> we are going to have your best man, Michael. Come on over. Let's go, Michael. Parang, parang nalulos ako. <laughs> Ayan. Hindi ako kakanda. Kinabog ako ni Mimi Bay. Ayan. So, good evening po sa inyong lahat. Uh, actually, mag din ako ng isa. Love is blind, but marriage is an eye-opener. May pasok lang, nag-code kasi kanina Kaka-Google ko lang. <laughs> okay? So anyways, um, mga kapatid, hello sa inyo po. Uh, by the way, I'm Kel. No, kanina po nag-introduce kanina na brother from another mother. Okay? So bakit? Um, Kung baga actually gulat nga ako dahil best man pala ako ni Finn. Naakala ko si Ma Mikey, lumabas ka na dyan. No, safe ka na. <laughs> ako na ang tumayo para sa sa'yo. Anyways, So, pero grateful, kapatid, sa opportunity na maging best man mo. And of course, andito sa big day ninyo ni Bay. Okay? So, anyways, marahil, bakit ako uh, naging best man? Ano? 
uh, Marvin and I been together as a partner. Oy, may relasyon. <laughs> partner talaga. But as hanggang dikit na magkaibigan po. Okay? So, dalawang dekada na na, boy, Brad, na kami po ay magkaibigan ni Vin. From... Uh, sa pagkabata hanggang po ngayon. Okay, so since first, uh, laging tagasimot ng fried chicken ko kapag hindi ko naubos, no? Um, hanggang sa pagsabit during on days kasi mga mga baha moments eh, no? Para lang kami makauwi sa amin, talagang sumasabit kami kahit saan, even truck po. Makauwi lang ng bahay, no? Hindi ako nahihiya doon, Brad. History natin 'yan. <laughs> At um um Katabi ko sa pagtulog, no? kahit na baklas na pinto hanggang sa liga ng basketball, Young People Ministry sa church, kasama ko na po ito. Okay? Uh, maging sa mga ex niya na nataong nagugustuhan namin pareho. <laughs> Nasaan yung mga ano? Okay? Ay, 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 ay. Oo. No, na, 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 syempre, Uh, dikit kami, dikit yung bituka namin, maging sa taste ng girl, parehong-pareho kami. Uh, no? Pero syempre, trend dito sa Pilipinas, kapag pogi ka, sure win ka. No? <laughs> Totoo po ba? Uh, <laughs> Pag pogi po, no? yun, yun agad lang mga pinipili. Ewan ko ba kung bakit. No? Sure win ka agad sa aming dalawa. Pakit lang siya, tas boka-boka, ako super effort, wala pa din. <laughs> Ano ba? Nakakahiya. <laughs> um, yun. Pero bakit gano'n? No? Pag nagkakaproblema sila ng mga past niya, ng mga ex niya, isa kan sila lumalapit na humingi ng advices. Hindi ko alam eh. No? Una pa lang sana, ako na yung sinagot nila. No? <laughs> okay, so... At ito po, ano, um, napagpag, napapagkama lang kami magkapatid. Kaming tatlo ni Miguel. Asan po, nak- nakita niyo na po ba si Miguel? Ano si Mikey? No? Pero um, sinasabi ko, sadya na lang magkahawig kami. No? Pero hindi kami magkadugo. No? Buang agree po si sir. <laughs> mga, mga smile si sir. Agree, agree. Okay. Um, from rugs to riches to rugs ulit. Pero ako lang po yung bumalik sa pag-rugs. No? Brad, blessed and grateful to be part of your history of your life. No, masasabi ko lang dito, very driven na tao pag gusto no matter how bumpy the road becomes, no, talagang ia-achieve na po 'yan kahit gaano ka imposible. 'Yan yung pagkatao po ni Marvin. Ah, uh, mapa mapa love life, ma, ma yes. <laughs> mapa love life man 'yan or pangarap sa buhay. Kaya nga MD na po siya. Kasi ito po yung pangarap niya. And of course si Bay No, na na bet niya si Bay dati, pero look at you now, Brad. Katabi mo na yung forever mo. Sa yung sa na yan, no? Hindi na kasi kasal. <laughs> oh, dati kasi no, mga ex niya um, lumilipat po ng channel, no? So buti na lang hindi po sila ganoon nagka-problema ni Bay. Kung hindi ikaw magi-speech dito, bro. Ako <laughs> Ako na nga po, ikaw mag speech sa aming dalawa. Tita, boto po ba kayo sa akin? Botong-boto si tita. Ay, may tumatawa doon. Parang hindi ano. Lakas ha, nakaka-offend. <laughs> But I'm not only your best man, bro. No? Your best man after na itong wedding na to. But... Um, ako yung best man mo forever through take or thin. Alam mo yan, bro, love kita. No? Alam mo yan. May God be the center of your family. No? God first this time and beyond. Pag may problema ka, you already know the drill. Congratulations sa inyo ni Bay. I love you both. No? Alam niyo yan. God bless. Till sa dedication sa una niyong gilas baby. Okay. Congratulations. And... Uh, mga kapakadid, toast po tayo ulit. Wala, wala akong basa. <laughs> toast po. Yan yeah, for the newlywed couple. Wala po bang picture? 
Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs> That was such a fun speech. At talagang minake sure mo na boto si Tita sa'yo. Ayon. <laughs> I think everyone almost fell off their seats while you were talking, Michael. Thank you for the very entertaining speech. Now we would like to request the bride and the groom to please join us over here at the back. Let's have Bea and Marvin here. And then let's also have the following. Please join us here at the back. Um... Ike and Kat, Pam and Noel, Gio and Roxy, please join us here. Ninang Zarai and Ninong Butch, please join us here. Tito Kiel and Tita Ronica, please join us here. Ninong Rolly and Ma'am Mylin, please join us here. So, Marvin and Ben at the center. Okay, let's have all the people whom we called. That don't worry, you can stretch up to there. So, um, there, we still have social distancing, okay? So, let's have Ike and Kat, Pam and Noel, Gia and Roxy, Ninang Zoraya, Ninang Butch, Tita Kiel and Tita Ronica, Ninang Rally and Mam Mylene. Okay, let's go. All right, don't worry, this is not going to be a talent show. <laughs> yes, promise. Okay, it's not going to be a talent show. Please join us here, Pop. Okay, yes. So we'll all try to take positions. Maybe we can just do couple pictures so we don't have to ask them to super come close together. Oh, Marvin and Bayan, there. Okay. Uh, all right, I think I think we can still take the group shot. Okay, everybody, let's take a quick photo. Okay, please join me. All right. Quick photo. Mom, you have to come out. There. Okay, other side. All right. Yeah. Okay, everybody, smile, smile. We are going to play the couples. How well do you know your partner challenge? Okay. Don't <laughs> worry, it's going to be very easy. Okay, please stand back to back with your partner. First, we can stretch up to here, Paul. Please stand back. Ma'am and sir, you can move forward for a little. Yes, Marvin and Bea, there. Okay. There, ma'am, please. Okay, side view. All right, side view. Stand back to back with your partner. Uh, ma'am, side view po. Ay, ayan. Okay, there you go. All right. Ah, sorry, ma'am. Side view po ng konti. Yes. Okay, thank you po. All right. So, side view. Okay, back to back. All right. So, how do you... You're not supposed to... You're not supposed to use your elbow to say, Oh, ako yun, ako yun. Okay. <laughs> Don't give signals to your partner. Okay. So... How do you signal that whatever I'm going to say refers to the female partner? You raise a peace sign, okay? And then if ever what I'm saying refers to the male partner, you raise a fist. Okay, let's try to practice uh, fist and then peace sign. Okay, so let's try to practice back to back to hand now peeking at your partner's answer. Okay, first question, try all around. When you weren't boyfriend, girlfriend yet, who said I love you first? Sino na nag I love you? Go! Okay, I have peace and fist. <laughs> so, sino po na I love you? Okay, peace then si sir. All right. Peace then si Marvin. Bea, do you agree that you were the first to say I love you? No. No. Okay. Ma'am, he is lying. Okay. And then, ma'am, so I said it was you who said I love you first. What is your reaction? <laughs> Mom is laughing talaga. All right. So, let's have the next question. This time, ah, if, you, if you raise different signs, you will be taken out of the game. Okay? So, that one was fun because the boys were really playing around. All right. Next question. Between the two of you. Who? Okay. Let's go for something controversial. Who is messier with his or her things? Sino mas makalat? Oh. <laughs> I have peace and fist again. <laughs> okay. Sir is twisting. <laughs> okay, peace and fist also. Eh, okay, wait. So we have, according to Sir, you are more makalat, ma'am. Don't believe him. So why do you think ma'am is more makalat? You just see. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for playing. You guys also race differently. Okay, according to him, you are more makalat. Why? Why is she more makalat? Yes. Makalat lang talaga. But why did you raise a fist? What does he make kalat? A lot of things. Okay, kaya pala, it's all over. Alright, thank you guys for playing. Wow, so we have three couples left. Okay. That 
the messy question made it, no? Okay, uh, next question. Between the two of you, oh, back to back, ah. No, looking at your partner's answer. Who has the better fashion sense? Go. Who has the better fashion sense? Okay. Ay, we have peace and fist. Wow. But they voted for each other in terms of fashion sense. Ma'am, why do you think Sir has a better fashion sense? Ah, he dictates what you're gonna wear. Oh, Sir, why did you vote for Ma'am? Adine dictate. Ay, yari daw si Sir. Hindi na vote yun. All right, thank you both for playing. Okay, last. Couples left Bet between the two of you. Wow, <laughs> Naka peace na agad si Ma'am. <laughs> All right, between the two of you. Wow, yes, the better kisser go. <laughs> the better kisser. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. According to ma'am, it's you, sir, but sir voted for you, ma'am. Oh, mutual admiration. <laughs> Wait, what did Marvin raise? I didn't see. Oh, peace also. We have a winner! Congratulations to these two. They both raised the peace sign. So that means... That means it's... For both of you, peace sign, no? So that means the girls are the better kissers. And they are confident about it. Good job. All right, let's give prizes to to our couples. Let's give the prize first. Yes. Para, yeah. So that's... If ever, this is just any other photo. But with the prize, you'll remember these two won your couples. How well do you know your partner challenge? Congrats. I think ma'am had a premonition as to the question because she was trying to raise peace already earlier. Congratulations to our couple winners. Okay, so we are still looking for a hashtag winner, so please post using their group. I also posted so you know which group to post in, okay? So please post your hashtag post now so that we can declare you the winner. But before we do, we are going to take a trip down memory lane together with the bride and the groom through their growing up ABP. Maybe we can, would you like to transfer or it's fine? Okay, there you go. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Less than one minute at all. I never thought that love would be Make you one as lovely as she Isn't she lovely Made from love Isn't she pretty Truly the angel's best Boy, I'm so happy She lovely, made from
Prenuptial photos, you can see how super in love they are. But at this point, we would like to have Marvin take here to the dance area the first lady who loved him. Of course, his mother, Dr. Mary Lou, over here. Po. It's time for your mother and son dance. Unforgettable, 
Project M for accompanying them in that dance. Please give your mom a hug and a kiss before we let her go. That's why, darling, it's incredible that someone so unforgettable is the that mother and son dance of course we are going to ask Dr. Louie to take Bea to the center yes all right we are going to watch part of the video first sir in the ground we bear Seeds of a pet, all the things we care. Now we're down to our bed. May I have this dance? Can I say something crazy? I love you. Give me both your hands. Thank you so hungry. much. You must have been that was a fun dance. Because <laughs> usually daddies don't like the father and daughter dance because they're going to cry. But to all the dads here, right that's a hint. That's what you do. You make it a fun dance. <laughs> so that you can make sure that you won't be crying. All right? So we are now going to hear from the parents, their messages to the bride and the groom. We will have first the parents of the groom, Dr. Sferer. Please join them in front. Ma'am, take your seat first. Hey everyone, hope everything's having a nice time. Tonight we are celebrating a very special occasion, the union of our eldest son Marvin and my and now and my now beautiful daughter-in-law, Bea. There were a lot of paths in life my thought that my son would take. I remember when Marvin was growing up, he would play doctor with his dad's stethoscope. So I thought maybe he'd become one, which by God's grace he is. 
Then in high school, he excelled in basketball. So I thought maybe he'd be a professional athlete. After that, he became dedicated to church in the children's ministry. So I thought maybe he'd even become a pastor. However, despite all the possible paths, today I know one thing for sure, and it's that no matter what path Marvin decides to take in his life, we will go down every path as the loving and passionate man he is. And with the Lord's help, he will excel in everything he's do he does when he puts his heart and soul into it. We welcome Bea to our family. I thank you for loving and taking care of Marvin. And I look forward to all the memories our family will share. I pray you and Marvin's new journey together bring love and happiness to the rest of your days and hopefully birth some more tall future doctors as well. Uh, good evening. I'm the father of Marvin. Uh, my advice is um, to love, uh, respect, and have uh, patience, which is other. And I pray God blesses the marriage for every single day. We love you both. That was the message of both parents. Thank you so much to the parents of the groom. Thank you, Dr. Scherer. Now we are on to the parents of the bride. So let's have Dr. Slim Hoko in front. Oh. Your message. Actually, uh, this is the second wedding in our family, both in the pandemic season. So last year, it, um, the levels were more strict. So we are blessed this year because that level two na lang, we have, uh, we are blessed with more guests to witness uh, the union of Marvin and Bella. And I made an outline kasi last year, medyo lumampas ako eh. <laughs> Sabi naman ako, dati yung hapon ako sinabi. <laughs> so may outline ako. First, I would like to welcome everybody, friends, uh, family, and colleagues for attending here in Tagaytay tonight. And uh, actually, during the wedding, sabi ko, ba't kaya lahat ng tatay umiiyak pa rin? Yung daughter nila. Uh, that's why they call it giving away their daughter. So sabi ko, kasi pag give away mo, di ba, parang hindi mo na makikita masyado. Pero actually, hindi ko na nakikita si Bea masyado. Eh. Nung, kasi nung nag-college, malis na ng bahay yan, pumunta na sa Manila. And then, she's uh, very independent, very strong-willed. And she could really live by herself even at that age. And kahit nung bata pa yan, I remember with my mother, Lola niya, we went to the States. But she uh, went with her Lola and we had different uh, itineraries. Tapos when we decided, when we met, sabi ko sa mami ko, oh, mami ko, musta si Bea? 12 years old lang yan. Sabi ng mami ko, ano ba? Sabi ng mami ko, may sariling agenda. So, siya ang nagdadala. Kasi, ano siya eh, she has very, parang nanay niya, very strong-willed. But she's a great organizer. She plans everything. Matigas ang ulo. <laughs> Pero hindi, daddy's girl yan eh. Kaya, Kaya nung, nung ceremony, sabi ko, hindi siguro ko iya kasi. Uh, her graduation from residency with coincide with the wedding. And then, siguro I'll see her more often. Ano na, it's like practice na sena with Marvin. And sabi ko, hindi siguro ako iya. Pero naiyak din ako, hindi ko lang pinakata. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's tears of joy because, firstly, the first time I met Marvin, nakita ko parang, ba, ito yung bata. Kaya lang, 
punta pati hindi sa kaya na kaya lang masyadong ano eh mahihain <laughs> kaya once nasa lutsena na kayo Marvin mas buwas naman yung kahiyaan mo sa amin lalo na kasi uh, sabi nga ng ng friend ko sa lutsena Luwi pare sipin mo magkakaroon ka ng anak na doktor na hindi pinag-aral hindi mo ginasto sa niya biro na para ng doktor sa pamilya hindi mo ginasto sa to hindi ko alam and then i'm sure we'll have a lot of uh, time together in the OR exploring the biking trails in Lucena waterfalls and then relaxing in the tree houses <laughs> so uh we'll have we're looking forward to a lot of uh, great times together and i pray that um God blesses you with a wonderful life together. God uh, bless things, children, hopefully, not only dogs. <laughs> and, oh wait, before, <laughs> lastly, meron akong walang kamatayan na poem na patagal ko nang ginawa. Actually, I meant it. Anyway, I said it last year to my son and uh, his new wife. It's about the definition of, the true definition of love. What is the real meaning of love? Love is not an, just an emotion. It's a devotion. It's not just a feeling that you love each other. It's the doing things for each other. It's not the receiving. It's the giving. It's not the high. It's being each other when they are low. It's not what you are willing to gain, but what you are willing to lose. If you treat love as a verb, not a noun, your love will last forever. So, Hello, I'm Nina, the mother of the bride. Um, <laughs> uh, actually, sinabi na ni Louis most of the things that they need to know. And um, sasabihin ko lang yung mga, mga dapat nilang malaman through our experience as ano, parents na diba? Kasi tayo matatanda na, nagkaroon na tayong ano. So, ang 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 voyage or ang journey no to a long lasting marriage whether it be happy or not is really you know what choice choice mo to when you wake up you choose choose to be happy choose to to have um no discordance no joy always choose joy tapos always choose service always choose um, respect, good words. When you wake up, you see the good of the other person. Hindi yung, ay, hindi niya sinarado yung toothpaste, oh. ay, pinigahan niya dun sa gitna. Ay, hinulog niya yung, ano, yung mga sabon, tapos hindi niya pinulot. Ay, hindi niya tinaas yung, yung toilet bowl nung iihi siya. Diba, parang, <laughs> lahat yun, parang, minsan, wag mo nang isipin kung gusto mo maging happy. Sinong, sinong tumatawa-tawa dyan? Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> di ba? Kasi kung kung meron kang ayaw, tapos ayaw din niyang gawin, isipin mo na lang, paano mo gagawin? Kaya kung kunyari, ayaw niya umihi dun sa bowl, gusto niya dun sa sink, tinaas ko yung sink para hindi siya iihi sa sink. <laughs> Di ba? Diba? Yun yung mga ano, uh, yun yung mga dapat mong pwedeng gawin. Always do na para magkayo magkaroon ng walang misunderstanding. Kung ayaw niya gawin, edi gawin mo na. Diba? And ang talagang isa pang maganda ay always make your wife happy. Kasi pag happy ang wife, happy life. Hindi, kasi pag aaway niya ako, hindi ako luluto. Diba? Ayoko magluto, ayoko maglinis. Ayoko mag-stay doon, aalis ako. <laughs> so, sino may hirapan siya rin. 
Oo. So, dapat talaga, make your wife happy. To have a happy life. And, yung pinaka-foremost is, always pray. Pray before sleeping, when waking up. Kasi when you put God first, the rest will follow it. Mag- magiging para bang hindi ka na irritable, hindi ka na nakakainis, kasi parang may pasyensyo sa kana, yung bang lahat magagawa mo, basta nandiyan ang uh, Diyos sa gitna. Um, ano pa ang pwedeng sabihin? Ah, isa pa. Ang maganda rin, your money is my money, my money is my money. <laughs> diba? Kasi, <laughs> kasi, pag, kunyari, pwedeng siyang gumo- mag- Uh, tawag doon, sa household, pwede siyang gumastos, lahat, ganyan-ganyan. Pero yung gusto ko, ako dapat ang gagasa sa gusto ko. Pero saan ako kukuha ng pera? So, your money is my money and my money is my money. Yun ang ano, suggestion ko kay Bea. Hindi, <laughs> 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 magtatago ka lang ng konti. <laughs> so, yun lang. Wala na akong ibang dadagdag. Thank you so much to the parents. Very practical advice there. Tama nga naman, you know, 11 years doing weddings, this is the first time I heard it, being qualified, yung happy wife, happy life. Oo nga naman, pag, pag hindi happy ang wife, walang luto, kawawa ang husband. Okay, so there you go. Thank you so much to the parents for all their messages of love. and concern to the bride and the groom. Now we would like to request the bride and the groom to kindly transfer seats because I was told the most important AVPs of the night are ready. They are the on-site photo slideshow and the same day edit. Why are they very important? They will provide summaries of the day. So we have a request po. Please enjoy this with the bride and the groom. Please avoid approaching them while they are watching this with all of you. Please don't leave anymore. After this, we'll have their thank you message already, okay? So just watch this video and then please listen to the thank you message of the bride and the groom. Okay? Let's watch this. Let's turn off the lights, please. Found me, darling, you found me I could never be 
was their on-site photo slideshow, but we have one more, their same-day edit. I remember praying to God some years ago to give the right man for me, for someone like my dad, perhaps, if that's even feasible. I remember praying to him to give me a sign if I was with the right person, though I didn't believe in signs. That time, he didn't give me a sign, but he gave me you. Bea, naalala mo ba how we started? Kinuwento na ni Father, during internship sa RMC, tumatakas tayo during duty breaks. Uh, uh, sa tagong part ng hospital, dun sa may hindi daan ng mga surgery resident. Dahil takot tayo na mahuli ni Renji. Yung kuya mo. At hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa rin alam yung dahilan kung bakit tayo nagtatago noon. Well, siguro we love the thrill of it. I vow to keep that thrill alive. I vow to love and take care of you. To provide for you, for our puppies, and our future little Marvin and Bea. Hello. I picked this by myself and I hope you like it. Let's enjoy every minute of today. Don't worry too much. Let go and let God. I'll always be here for you. I love you. Yours always, Bea Limhoko Ferrer. Nice! Kiling ka, see you later. Bea, please accept this gift for this symbolizes you, both simple and stunning. A rare gem nowadays. I am blessed to find one. See you later. Love, Marvin. This afternoon, we're going to witness another kind of gift giving. In fact, the highest form of gift giving. Because this afternoon, Maya and Marvin will be a gift to each other. The gift of themselves. Tomorrow, as we start our life together, let us face challenges together. Let us learn that I does not belong in our marriage. Starting tomorrow, we will be using the word we because we are partners. We are each other's support system and we will take care of each other until we are old. So my love, well, nasabi na ni Father Armand, until death to us part. vow to accept you for the person you are. He will love you and stand by you even through the worst of times. I vow to celebrate the smallest of victories and the biggest triumphs. Loving you and choosing you four years ago. Choosing you four years ago. Despite the circumstance and uncertainty you were in, was the best decision I made. I vow to stay with you, may times be good or bad, happy or sad, until our Lord calls us home. From this day on, you 
you will never be alone. I love Thank you very much. Nice sprint for capturing all the great emotions of the day, including their vows to each other. I think it's a good, good memory to look back on every time. So the same day edit is not just for capturing the tears of the groom. Huh? <laughs> it's also for all the memories of this particular blessed day. So let's have the mic for the bride and the groom so they can address everybody. So good evening, everyone. So I'm going to try to make this spontaneous. So um, so this venue has been, is very special to us because this is where we had our proposal dinner. So um, this pandemic is, has been really a challenge. So we tried to really make every one of you fit here. And I wanted um, also to be safe. So, I hope you don't mind the distance uh, between our tables and if um, not everyone could um, see the screens. But um, we really uh, wanted each and every one of you to be here uh, because we can't imagine uh, spending, spending this day without you. So every one of you has been handpicked and um, we particularly um, um, preferred to have also our Zoom services so our relatives um, from other areas could join us. So I'd like to thank everyone uh, who made this, um, who made it here. This, this is an out of town um, celebration. So um, to Marvin and my batchmates uh, from Carino, the doctors of Carino there, who can um, already um, make an operating room. <laughs> so there's some hospital done. Thank you for coming uh, despite all our duties. So actually uh, me and Marvin have um, really are just happy to be here now um, just celebrating with all, with all of you with um, nothing else to worry about. So um, earlier today, everyone's been telling me na parang um, just let it go. Um, just know na not everything's gonna be perfect. Pero okay lang yun. Pero for me, everything's perfect. <laughs> I did not... Um, well, everything's perfect. This is um, how we imagined um, our wedding to be. So we just wanted everyone to be here, talaga, to um, enjoy good food, good wine, and good company. So um, from the bottom of our hearts to uh, Marvin's friends, childhood friends, brats to Beta Sigma, dun sa kabilang room, kahit na separate, I know you're enjoying there. And um, my family and um, Marvin's family and even his family abroad and other uh, places who can't be here, we are really, really grateful. Because um, both of us are not that vocal. <laughs> we're not showy with our um, emotions. We're not vocal, kahit sa parents namin. But um, tonight, we want um, everyone to know how thankful we are, especially 
um, to our ninang si ninang and syempre yung parents namin talagang uh, sobrang support na kahit syempre uh, we're just starting our careers and honestly it's not easy to pull off a wedding period <laughs> even pandemic uh, pero our parents have been there itamalu sobrang hands on mommy na pala <laughs> so um my dad my mom uh, Marvin's parents uh, sobrang walang um they showed their um, support and love from day one last year until today and um yung friends namin na kasi nagjo-duty ako kahit um yon lagi chief president pa ako kahit na ang hirap uh, planning this wedding tinulungan kami ng friends namin kahit from different areas to make it possible so thank you for coming tonight and just celebrating our our relationship our love and culminating the first day of our married life so uh, wait lang kayo dun sa mga gilas babies wait lang <laughs> uh, mag enjoy lang tayo and uh, I'm gonna let Marvin say just a short um, words kasi ang dami ko lang sila <laughs> Hello, good evening again. Uh, I would like uh, to thank everyone again for attending this event. Um, kung nandito kayo ngayon, uh, we consider you our closest of the close. So, uh, we thank you for making it tonight, even though na it's far away from uh, from the city. And um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the night and everything that we have prepared, prepared for you you guys uh, thank you and uh, mayro pa daw uh, alcoholic beverages diyan uh, nagsabi lang kayo so i na lang thank you again thank you for having okay. all of us i know everyone felt extra special because you were very hands on in your preparations we have we have one last person to award the winner of your hashtag contest can we show please Hashtag winner. Hashtag. There you go, Gail Palma. You are our winner. Congratulations. Over here, Gail. Let's give you a prize. Okay, let's give the prize to Gail, please. Okay, Gail, let's take a quick photo there with the bride and the groom. Yes. Marvin, let's take a quick photo. I'll show your prize so they'll remember you made the effort. To post using their hashtag. Thank you, Gail. Everyone, can we can we give a loud final greeting to the bride and the groom? Let's make this Filipino style, okay? Anyway, we're all wearing barongs. The gentlemen are wearing barongs. So everybody, let's all stand and then let's shout very loudly. I'll do a countdown. Let's shout very loudly. Mabuhay ang bagong kasal, okay? Ready, everybody? Ah, huh? even in the other rooms, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, go! And with that, we end the formal part of the program. Everybody, it's now your time with the bride and the groom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to party. Congratulations to our new newlyweds. Before you go home, you can dance in your seat, so enjoy the drinks and share the love. We are Project M. Give me all, give me all, give me your attention, baby. baby. I gotta tell you a little something about yourself. You wanna full flawless, oh, you a sex lady. But you walk around here like you wanna be someone else. Oh, oh, oh. I know that you don't know it, but you're fine, so fine. So fine, so fine. Girl, I'm gonna show you. Make my wish come 
Thank <laughs> you. 